it can kill you. I've always been honest about that. <laughs> Greg Glassman, creator of CrossFit. My name is Josh Womack, and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about CrossFit, uh, a revolutionary new fitness model. In just 14 years, Cross, CrossFit.com has grown to a $100 million company with over 10,000 affiliated gyms. CrossFit is all about forging functional fitness as opposed to specific training. The idea behind it is to be prepared for any and all uh, challenges that might come your way. According to a study done by NCBI, VO2 max increased in men and women in just 10 weeks of CrossFit training. The real genius behind the CrossFit model is what is known as the WOD, or workout of the day. Each day, a workout is published on CrossFit.com that all of the CrossFit affiliates or boxes follow. It usually begins with a warm-up, something high intensity like jump rope or sprints or rowing, and followed by a skills portion where you work on form because Olympic lifting is a big part of CrossFit and you must have proper form to not injure yourself. Following that, there's a time segment in which you perform the exercise as quickly as possible and you record your time. Um, Olympic lifts are, like I said before, are a huge part of CrossFit, especially the snatch and the power clean and jerk. These are explosive lifts which recruit all major muscle groups in your body and uh, burn calories very effectively. Kettlebells are also used extensively in CrossFit because many lifts can be done <laughs> with <laughs> high intensity. Body weight exercises are another major part of CrossFit. Anyone who's ever done a burpee oh. knows this. Uh, they're quite difficult, but very good at burning fat and building muscle. AMRAPs, a lot of CrossFit exercises are performed <coughs> as AMRAPs, which is as many reps as possible in a, spe in a specified amount of time. This is very different from most lifting models because you lift a heavy weight for a short period of time and allow your muscles to recover. So this is more for building muscular endurance as opposed to strength. Self myofascial release is another huge part of CrossFit. Um, this is also known as foam rolling. Because of the high intensity of CrossFit, it is possible for a lot of your muscles to get very tight and if you <coughs> don't release those muscles and you risk injury. One of the most brilliant parts of the CrossFit business model is CrossFit boxes or gyms. Uh, CrossFit boxes pay $3,000 a year to be affiliated with CrossFit.com and the success is up to the business owner. The success or failure, you know, they don't take any money like gym franchises do. It's all up to you. The CrossFit game started in 2011 and have now grown worldwide attention as they've been broadcasted on ESPN. Um, with just 68,000 athletes competing in 2011, it has now grown to over uh, 70,000 men competing and over uh, 40,000 women. Uh, you guys should all go check out your local CrossFit gym and give the class a try. This high intensity workout model uh, is very fun and you'll get fit and maybe you could even compete in the
CrossFit Games and win two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. My name is Josh Romack, and that's CrossFit.